welcome back to my parlor. And if you're new, welcome to my parlor. Sometimes I film in the kitchen. I'm participating today in a collaboration with Carol from My Blessed Nest and Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. They, I love their channels. They find the cutest things and have the best style. Um, really fun to watch. I will link their channels below. They'll, there will also be a playlist for this collaboration where you can watch other people's videos. And the collaboration is five things I thrifted and use every day. So I'm really going to try to keep to that. So the first thing I have is these are all things that I've thrifted in the last year. Um, I would say almost everything I have in my home has been thrifted and I use it every day um, with, with few exceptions. So this is just a little tollware style tray. It's not very big and it has pretty hand painted roses on it. On the back it says art and I would say that says October, but it's missing the end R on October, but I am pretty confident that is what it says. It's heavy compared to some of the other tin type enamel trays that I have and that I've seen. And it's relatively small. I don't know, it's about six inches across. And I use it in my dining room. I work there on my channels and listing things and YouTube. And I use it there as a poster. So yeah. So that's my first thing, and I do. I use it every day. I don't even really think about it, which is one of the reasons I wanted to show it to you. And I got that at a thrift store, and I think I paid a dollar or so for it. Not much. I just took the price tag off, too. And the second thing I bought maybe two years ago, not quite a year ago, and that is this adorable salt and pepper set. And we, we all know these are a dime a dozen, but I just thought these were too cute to pass up. There's a little store near where I live. In fact, it's just a block down from the antique mall. I can walk to both of the places from my home. This is a little gift shop. They have a lot of handmade and imported type items, but it is a booth style setup. But there are a few dealers there that have some vintage things and the people that work there are so nice. I've bought several pieces of furniture from them. Um, let's see if I can, and I use these. This is just a little Dollar Tree, um, little ceramic dish that was a dollar and I keep them in there. So the bottom says Anesco Imports Japan and they each have their little sticker on them. Can you see them? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Maybe it's upside down. I can't tell. Anyway, I think they're just darling and sweet. And I keep those on my kitchen table and use them. The next thing I have is a corning pan. This is a roasting pan and I think it's about 13 inches across. It's that pyro ceram that it, corning is known so well for. It's kind of like a little enameled ceramic. I, I, when I was growing up, my mother didn't really use too much corning cookware or dinnerware, but I've only discovered the joys of this recently since I started selling online in the last year. I used to sell in a booth years and years ago when my kids were little. But um, anyway, people love their corningware. And I thought, and I was finding lots of it in the thrift store. And I thought, why not give it a try and try it for myself and see if I like it. And I tell you, I wish I had done it 20 years ago. For those of you looking for 
vintage items to use when you have little kids that are um, durable and don't break easily, I highly recommend Corningware, Corel dishes. Anyway, I love this roasting pan. I have one for sale on my Etsy shop, Dot Likes Red, right now. It's brand new. I don't think it was ever used, and it's in its original cradle. It came with a little, one of those metal cradles with wooden handles that you could use to serve, and it is so cute. Uh, mine was in almost perfect condition when I bought it, and I bought it either at Goodwill or Salvation Army. I can't remember which one. And there's a way to date, you know, if they were in the 60s or 70s or later. I think this pattern ran from 1958 to 88 with some anniversary issue in between. Anyway, I use this all the time, roasted vegetables, and I think they're just cute to cook in and serve in. So another thing that I have that I use in my work area for my Etsy shop is a vase that I bought either at Goodwill or Salvation Army. And, and that roaster, by the way, I think I only paid $4.99 for it. A lot of their corning, they price a little bit on the higher end because it's so popular. And I have sold several pieces. It's not the, doesn't have the value of Pyrex, but people really enjoy it. Well, I found this face. I'm almost, well, I think I got it at Salvation Army and it was probably a dollar, what did they mark, a dollar sixty something. It's been so long now. Um, I can't remember how they're pricing things. We're still not open in my part of California, but I understand coming soon, probably before this video comes out. So I saw this vase and I just scooped it up and put it in my cart and I ran it home and I thought someone is going to really love this. Because I really loved it. And it's just a ceramic vase with a little bird. I don't, I don't know what that is. Mockingbird, magpie, I'm not sure. Looks like the mama may be feeding her baby. I love the colors. I love the black on it with the pink and the yellow next to it. I don't know the age of this face, but I really, really love it. And I was cleaning it off. There's no marking on the bottom. So I don't know if it was imported and the sticker came off. I really don't know. Well, I was tapping it around and feeling it and thinking, oh, there's no cracks or anything here. I mean, there's no chips, it's too good to be true. And then can you hear how that sounds just a little bit different? Well, once I cleaned it and sometimes when you, sometimes when you clean ceramic pieces and they have a crack in them, it'll be a darker line where the water kind of seeps into the, the clay. And I noticed that. And I don't know if you can see it in there or not. I'll show you on the back because it's, it would be up here. Can you see it there? Yeah, I yeah, think you can see it. And it does go through to the back. You can, you, can you feel, hear my fingernail click there? So you can feel it a little bit. Yeah, so unfortunately I did not sell that. Even though someone might enjoy it and purchase it, I didn't want to run the risk of it further cracking in the mail because that's just too sad. It's sad for the buyer, sad for me, and I hate to see the piece go away, go to waste. And I just loved it so much anyway, I thought I'll just keep it. And I keep my rulers in, it, in my work area. So yeah. And then really quickly, the last thing I have I bought at Goodwill and I think it was just a couple dollars. Oh my gosh, I saw this piece and I thought, this is so adorable. I've never seen anything like it. It's probably from the 1970s. Oh my goodness. I keep my tea bags in it. You can see the little lighter color on the bottom. There was probably an import sticker there. It's a little dirty, sorry, <laughs> a little dirty inside. But isn't that cute? It says fresh margarine 
There are no chips or cracks on it. It's got this little kind of ice cream cone texture. Isn't that darling? So those are just some of the things that I thrifted and I use every day. So please check out the playlist and check out Carol and Yvonne's channels. My Carol on my blessed nest and Yvonne at Ginger Chick Rehab. I really appreciate you stopping by and participating with me. Ta! <laughs>